We launched a new production facility in Khabarovsk and started our export from Khabarovsk to the markets of China and the Asian Pacific countries and now we're facing new problems that have to do with logistics, with infrastructure. First of all, we're dissatisfied, extremely dissatisfied with the time uh, it takes to get through the customs, the borders, and I was at the meeting with the president and I addressed this question to him and received uh, a very positive answer that this problem will be resolved in the future, that the state is going to uh, de and allocate some certain fun funds, I can't remember how exactly how much, to, but to improve the situation on the borders. And I also raised the problem that the Ministry of Trade and the government, they uh, promised sub sub to subsidize the uh, licensing for the products that are uh, headed to export, because it, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot, it, it's, it's not a cheap process, so we hope that the uh, state would share this burden with us uh, to, imp to improve the uh, export volume, uh, and including for the Far East, and I, and I agree with the Ministry of the Development of the Far East, the Far East is a, is a sort of a great, great ground to start export into China. And here we have unique uh, uh, unique preferen tax preferences. It's unprecedentedly low tax burden area for both Russian and foreign investors. And the situation here, you know, it's 10 out of 10 if we were to evaluate it. Uh, I believe what can be added is, first of all, of course, it's the time, how long it takes to, you know, turn around the documents, because the uh, foreign investors said as well, because a lot of things, you know, were sort of uh, decided in the manual mode, but it, the relationship between the local government and administration and the businessmen could be improved and infrastructural problems, because infrastructure once it exists, it, uh, it would be make the region even more attractive for the investors. I'm sure that the experience overall is positive because the, um, if the, if the you know, if the project was expected to recuperate in 10 years, but you know, if it's just it's, it's just a ballpark, but it's you know uh, the recuperation uh, it, uh, it it goes it goes it, it grows starts growing. Uh, and the tax support as a huge, the tax breaks are a huge support from the state. But when we uh, talk about you know the, the, the spread the distributions, those um, PDAs uh, they would be so far only uh, would be constrained to the Far East because the state uh, unfortunately cannot afford giving up on taxes in general. Um, yesterday there was a question that there will be tax breaks for a long time, uh, but these preferences would remain only in the Far East. And at the same time, uh, you got to admit that the input, or the economic input of the Far East is very uh, not that uh, not that not that big because there's only six million people here, and if you look at the overall economic uh, economic input, it's you know not say, not even six percent. But the interest coming up, you know, the hotels are full, restaurants are full, you know, the projects are being discussed, interesting projects. People are asking very you know straightforward, fixed questions, and I think the number of uh, project site here is going to grow, but what I, what I want to outline is that we need infrastructure again.